Hello Book Foxes! Welcome back to At The Book Fox Summaries, your go-to channel for simplifying the greatest books of all time. Today, we're delving into Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky, a novel that explores the depths of human guilt, morality, and redemption. Published in 1866, this psychological thriller has captivated readers for over a century. Imagine being so consumed by a theory that you believe committing a murder is not only justified but necessary. This is the dangerous line that Raskolnikov, our protagonist, crosses. But can anyone truly escape the weight of their conscience? To truly understand the gravity of Raskolnikov's actions, we need to delve deeper into the key events that shape his journey. After the murder, Raskolnikov becomes a prisoner of his own mind. I did not bow down to you, I bowed down to all the suffering of humanity, he says, reflecting the inner turmoil that haunts him. His interactions with other characters, like the compassionate Sonia, who herself suffers greatly, highlight his internal conflict. Sonia becomes a mirror to his soul, representing the innocence and morality he has lost. One of the most significant moments is when Raskolnikov confesses to Sonia saying, it was I killed the old pawnbroker woman and her sister Lizaveta with an axe and robbed them. This confession marks the beginning of his path to redemption, as he starts to confront the reality of his actions. Another pivotal event is his encounter with Porphyry, the astute investigator who suspects Raskolnikov but plays a psychological game with him. Porphyry's probing questions and keen observations push Raskolnikov closer to the edge, intensifying his paranoia and fear of being discovered. His journey from arrogance to despair, and eventually to a form of redemption, is a powerful exploration of the human psyche. As Dostoevsky writes, pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. This quote encapsulates the essence of Raskolnikov's experience, a man caught between his intellectual arrogance and the inescapable weight of his conscience. Crime and Punishment follows Rodion Raskolnikov, a former student living in poverty in St. Petersburg. Convinced that he's an extraordinary man, Raskolnikov believes he has the right to eliminate those who are worthless to society. He sees himself as a person who can transcend the moral boundaries that govern ordinary people. He meticulously plans and commits the murder of a pawnbroker, Aliona Ivanovna, hoping to use her money to better his life and others. However, he also kills her half-sister Lizaveta, who unexpectedly walks in on the crime. But the crime doesn't go as planned, and Raskolnikov's mind begins to unravel under the immense pressure of guilt. His mental state deteriorates as he grapples with the moral implications of his actions, leading to a profound internal conflict. The central conflict of the novel is Raskolnikov's internal struggle. He is tormented by his guilt and paranoia, which only intensifies as the story progresses. This is further complicated by his interactions with Porfiry Petrovich, the clever investigator who suspects him of the crime, and Sofia, a woman who symbolizes compassion and redemption. We will explore additional themes and messages in crime and punishment, such as the exploration of morality, the nature of guilt, and the search for redemption. Dostoevsky delves into the human psyche, questioning the boundaries of right and wrong. He challenges the reader to consider whether a crime can ever be justified, even if committed for a perceived greater good. Through Raskolnikov's journey we see the devastating effects of guilt and how it consumes him from within, leading to his eventual psychological breakdown. Raskolnikov's interactions with Sofia highlight the possibility of salvation and forgiveness. Sofia's unwavering faith and compassion offer a stark contrast to Raskolnikov's internal chaos, suggesting that redemption is possible. These themes are not just confined to the 19th century but are incredibly relevant to contemporary society. The moral dilemmas faced by individuals today, the psychological burden of guilt, and the quest for personal redemption are universal experiences that transcend time. In this new segment we will expand on the real-life relevance of crime and punishment by discussing how the book's themes and characters relate to modern-day issues. The moral dilemmas faced by Raskolnikov, for instance, are mirrored in today's ethical debates such as the justification of certain actions for a perceived greater good, be it in politics, business, or personal decisions. In an age where mental health is increasingly becoming a focal point of public discourse, Raskolnikov's internal struggle serves as a poignant reminder of the destructive power of unresolved guilt and the importance of seeking psychological help and redemption. Whether it's through religion, therapy, or personal transformation, the quest for forgiveness and self-acceptance is a journey that many undertake today. Now let's take a closer look at the characters who bring these themes to life. In this section, 
we delve deeper into the complexities of each character, exploring their motivations, backgrounds, and the psychological underpinnings of their actions. Raskolnikov, for instance, is not merely a criminal but a man caught in the throes of a philosophical crisis. His belief in the extraordinary man theory drives him to test the limits of his own morality, leading to his eventual downfall. Sofia, or Sonia on the other hand, is a beacon of hope and moral clarity. Her unwavering faith and compassion serve as a stark contrast to Raskolnikov's turmoil, offering him a path to redemption that he struggles to accept. Porfiry Petrovich, the astute investigator, employs psychological manipulation rather than physical evidence to corner Raskolnikov. His methods reveal the mental chess game that ensues between the hunter and the hunted, adding layers of suspense and intellectual depth to the narrative. Dostoevsky uses these characters to reflect broader societal issues such as the clash between utilitarianism and traditional morality, the impact of poverty, and the quest for meaning in a seemingly indifferent world. Each character is a piece of a larger puzzle, contributing to a rich tapestry of human experience and existential inquiry. In this section, we will include more personal insights and reflections on the book. Fyodor Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment is not just a story about crime, it's a profound exploration of the human psyche. Many readers have found themselves deeply moved by Raskolnikov's internal struggles, seeing reflections of their own moral dilemmas and existential questions. The character of Sonia has resonated with many as a symbol of unwavering faith and redemption, providing a beacon of hope in even the darkest times. Porfiry Petrovich's methodical approach to justice has captivated those who appreciate the subtleties of psychological manipulation and the intricacies of human behavior. His cat-and-mouse game with Raskolnikov adds a layer of intellectual thrill that keeps readers engaged and reflective. Dostoevsky's work has encouraged many to question their own beliefs and values, pushing them to confront the complexities of human nature and the moral fabric of society. These personal reflections and reader testimonials highlight the timeless relevance of crime and punishment, demonstrating how a 19th-century novel continues to shape and influence modern thought and personal growth. Crime and Punishment delves into several profound themes, the most prominent is the psychological impact of guilt and the quest for redemption. Through the dark and oppressive atmosphere of 19th century in St. Petersburg, Dostoevsky paints a vivid picture of Raskolnikov's internal struggle. Raskolnikov's theory of extraordinary people, those who can transcend moral law, ultimately fails, as he discovers that no one can escape their own conscience. His journey is a poignant exploration of the human psyche and the moral dilemmas that plague us all. The novel also critiques utilitarianism, challenging the idea that the ends justify the means. Through intense debates and courtroom scenes, Dostoevsky questions whether achieving a greater good can ever truly justify immoral actions. This timeless critique remains relevant in our modern world, prompting readers to reflect on their own moral beliefs. These themes are not just confined to the pages of Dostoevsky's novel, they resonate with real-life situations where individuals grapple with moral choices, the consequences of their actions, and the pursuit of atonement. Crime and punishment reminds us that every decision we make leaves an indelible mark on our conscience. Dostoevsky's exploration of the human psyche in crime and punishment is nothing short of brilliant. His deep dive into the complexities of human nature and the moral dilemmas faced by his characters is both thought-provoking and unsettling. The novel's intense focus on guilt and morality challenges readers to reflect on their own beliefs. It forces us to confront our own inner conflicts and question the very essence of justice and redemption. It's a book that stays with you long after you've turned the final page, urging you to question the thin line between right and wrong. The haunting narrative and complex characters linger in your mind, making you ponder the true nature of crime and punishment. In summary, Crime and Punishment is a masterpiece that delves deep into the complexities of the human mind. It's a powerful narrative about crime, guilt, and the possibility of redemption. If you're a fan of psychological thrillers or classic literature, this is a must-read. Have you read Crime and Punishment? What are your thoughts on Raskolnikov's actions? Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments what book you'd like us to cover next. Hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.